what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and for today i wanted to share some gameplay with you guys using another one of the characters that we got from update 3.9 this time another fan favorite in magic she's the second character that i decided to work on from this recent update and she is the second paywall choice as well this one you can actually get from the x gene selected that i currently have activated right here so for any of you guys who are wondering how you can get magic you can only currently get her from the x gene selector and apart from that there's going to be no way for you to get her that is unfortunate however at the same time it's not really that big of a deal why because magic is not going to drastically affect the game one way or another she's not going to be an extreme ab character that will completely decimate everybody else that came before her and she's not going to be relevant in pvp pretty much at all based on my testing so you do not have to concern yourself with her if you don't want to spend money to buy the character you don't have to and the game will progress and you will not really be missing out on too much she has good dps fairly decent survivability however because of the fact that magic is designed in a way where she relies pretty heavily on invincibility and invincibility in this game doesn't really mean too much right now we have tons of characters that can pierce invincibility and on top of that invincibility is debuffable meaning it can be taken away from you pretty much the second you put it up and when you do that to a character like magic who is a blast character with pretty low defenses and pretty low hp she actually becomes extremely vulnerable and she can literally be one-shotted by some of the weakest characters okay don't get it twisted if played properly she's a very very capable character with extreme dps and i'll show you guys that later in this video however i'm just trying to say that you don't have to fret about not having money to buy the character thinking that she's going to take over the game and you're going to see her everywhere is she fun to play yes but is she essential no you do not need the character i just want to get that out of the way right now she kind of reminds me in a way of someone like heimdall because of how her skills animate but more so she reminds me of someone like cable cable is a character with great dps on his five and apart from that everything else in his kit is just built in a way to help him survive that's how i feel about magic but if you take away the invincibility and you happen to catch characters like cable outside of their iframes then it's pretty much over for them the same thing goes for magic and since she's not a tier 2 native obviously she doesn't have that high defense that cable has but she does have some heal in her kit pretty reliable heal at that and we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video i want to show you guys how i currently have her set up and i'll jump into some gameplay for any of you guys who want to see just what her dps looks like because she's going to be classified by me and by many as a glass cannon even though she has two iframes and invincibility in her kit so as for her details this is what it currently looks like right now guys as you can see i have 116 for attack speed 61 percent for critical rate 146 for critical could damage 42% for ignore defense and 49% for reduced cooldown duration. The crit damage right here is pretty low, but everything else is in a decent place. As for her gears, this is what they currently look like. As you can see, I have three of them currently at 16. The third one is at 15, and she actually gets skill cooldown natively, which is very, very good for me. I love when my characters get skill cooldown natively because it allows me the freedom to roll for something else on the fourth gear slot. I chose to roll for ignore defense. For you, you can go ahead and roll for something like crit damage if you want to and that will be perfectly fine as well just keep in mind whatever you roll for here you're probably going to need to give her urus to make up for what you didn't roll okay the gears overall i think are decent she gets hp natively which is going to help bump up her healing which is actually a very good way to help the character stay alive okay as for her rotation i like to use something like five into four into three into two and then right back into five the three is a partial iframe the two a full iframe so take advantage of that when you're not inside of the invincibility on the five skill here it's gonna come in really really handy when you get debuffs okay or if you're up against enemies who can penetrate the invincibility so make sure you keep note of that guys also the four star passive which is pretty confusing for some people this is how it works okay or at least this is how it's been working for me every time you use the third skill in her rotation 
she will always heal as long as she doesn't get debuffed. Since this is a buff, you will notice that you will see times one above her head or times two. And if you're up against enemies that can debuff you, they can make it so that you don't get the heal. So keep that in mind. When I say the third skill in a rotation, I don't mean the three skill. I mean if the rotation is something like five into four into three, immediately upon using the three skill, if there is HP for you to regain, you can heal. Okay, so if you're at full health, obviously you're not gonna heal, but if you lost some HP, then you will heal. For example, let's use a rotation without the three skill. If I go something like four into five into two, the third skill in the rotation here is the two skill, so that's where you will heal, okay? So keep that in mind. That's what it means when it says next effect activates after three uses. So keep it in mind. It will save your life. It saves mine pretty damn often when she gets debuffed for this invincibility, okay? Rotation for me generally is just five into four into three to get the summons out, and then I'll go into two, then right back into five. Five is the highest damaging skill in her kit, so keep that in mind. Overall, I think she has a pretty decent kit, don't care for the leadership. Tier 2 passive is definitely going to come in handy for the character because it's going to give her some more survivability in the form of, as you can see right here, damage reduction. 35% is not that much, but it's definitely going to make an impact because outside of the invincibility, she's pretty damn squishy, okay? As you can see right here for the ISO set, I decided to go with Power of Angry Hulk. You can go with Overdrive. I would not suggest trying to make her any kind of a tank. That would be a really, really bad move. Go with an offensive build for her. As for the Obelisk, it is completely up to you what you want to go for. Me personally, I'm probably going to give her something with some max HP on it because of the fact that I want to bump up her healing a little bit. And right now for my magic, with as little HP as she currently has, it's only 16,000, she actually heals for about 2,000 HP every single time the third phase in this little rotation happens and the healing procs, okay? So about 2,000 HP every single time. I'm gonna try and bump that to hopefully make it so that I can get maybe three or 4,000. That would be pretty significant for me. Now, with that said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay and I'll show you guys how she performs in Shadowland and I'll also show you guys how she performs in War Boss Mode. We'll go up against the Guardians of the Galaxy right here and we're just going to rush them and I want to show you guys how fast she can actually clear this because her DPS is no joke, guys. All right, let's do this. I'll be surprised if these guys even last one minute against Magic. Her DPS is pretty damn good. Like I said, she's a cannon, but a glass cannon. Look at that. Groot wasn't even on the screen, guys. And he got the work nonetheless. The one skill I generally leave out of the rotation, unless one of my skills get cancelled for some reason. Like, the five skill with the body morph is just freaking amazing. Like, truly amazing. Okay, so Star Lord jumped into an iframe and canceled out the freaking five there. Bastard. <laughs> He's trying to make it to a minute, but he won't make it. He won't make it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. You're not making it. Everybody getting bodied. Not even a minute, guys. I'm telling you guys, magic is a freaking beast. Let's actually jump out here. And let's go beat up on somebody. Who should we beat up on today, guys? You know what? Let's beat up on Black Dwarf, man. Everybody's favorite punching bag. Let's actually go in here and I'll show you guys how fast we can clear Black Dwarf using a tier one freaking <laughs> magic, guys. Let's do this. All right, boys. Let's do this. It hurts my heart that the only thing Black Dwarf is good for in this game is to literally be everyone's punching bag. And I really and truly hope that with Infinity Wars, that changes. Because I actually like this guy. But I feel like they're forever just going to keep him as the weakest member of the Black Order. And nothing's going to ever truly change for this guy. Which is pretty sad. I'm gonna put the herd on him. Let's see if we can crush him in under a minute. Let's go. 
You got this magic. You got the magic touch, baby. He can't pierce your invincibility. Meaning, oh, this guy pushed me out of the skill. <laughs> I'm talking all that smack. And this guy pushed me out of the invincibility, but he still got smack silly. He still got smack silly. As you guys can see, she's a cannon. She's a cannon, a very big cannon. But believe me when I say she's a glass cannon, okay? When the invincibility is not there, she's actually going to be very, very squishy, very squishy. If you guys want to see what happens without invincibility, let me know and I'll try to give you guys some more gameplay with her. But that's it for this one, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you have magic, let me know some of the things you've been able to do with her. Let me know how you found her to be personally. Till next time, boys. Peace out.